Uh, hi everyone. Well, we're from Team Home. And, um, let me introduce my team members first. Um, that's myself. I'm Cornette. I used to be an intern in Thinkerbox. And that's Kate. Um, she used to be an S D with us, and then she went into pharmaceutical sales. And Sandy, she's still an S D with us. So um, last but not least, Gerald, our coach. He's the founder of Tinkerbox, uh, a web development agency. So again, so home. Well, I'm pretty sure. All of you already realize there are quite a number of foreign workers in Singapore, be it like um, the friendly cleaner at the hawker center or your sweet maid at home or that cute manager in your office just relocated from Hong Kong. And I'm pretty sure most of them are treated well and happily living in Singapore thanks to the existing laws. But unfortunately, not all of them are as lucky. So this is when organizations like HOME comes in. HOME actually stands for Humanitarian Organization for Migration Economics. So they've existed ever since 2004 and they've been dedicated to uphold the rights of migrant workers and that includes human trafficking and forced labors as well. Yeah, I'll pass it, pass it on to my next team member, Sandy. She's going to explain what the problems they've been facing for HOME. Sorry for that, because we have three people and we need to share 10 minutes. So we switch maybe uh, three minutes at each person, talk about three minutes. Let's change the slides, please. Okay, I'm going to talk about the problems that Home is facing now. Uh, because the current system that Home is using is not for case management. So sometimes there's a lot of fields that uh, maybe it's not necessary. So the case workers, uh, secondly, they, they need to waste a lot of time to fight with the system. So it's a lot of trouble during uh, their uh, figuring out how to use the system. And, uh, the, uh, and then uh, the other problem is the current system is, um, does not suit the case management landscape and it's hard coded when you need to change uh, the system is very difficult for uh, the case management uh, people to change it. And the most important thing is when they need to collect your data, uh, the data of the workers, uh, because uh, normally when workers they face some problems, they will approach home and then uh, home will prepare interview for them. And when they come to home, uh, the workers need to fill out a lot of paper forms. So in the end, there's a lot of documentation. It's all papers. It's not uh, online. It's not into the computer data. So when you need to uh, prepare some presentation or you need to prepare some press conference, uh, it's very difficult for them to prepare the data for, uh, uh, for the presentation. So now what we are going to do is we actually create, created a system to solve all the problems above. We create a website that you can just key in your information online and you can just uh, fill out the forms. We uh, train the I admin mean, people to fill out the form for the workers. So at the same time, the I admin mean, people can collect all the data uh, into the computer. So uh, it solves all the problems and if you need to generate some reports for presentation or press conference, you just click the report. And then automatically, it will generate the reports for, uh, for what you need to use. And next, please. And about the tools we are going to uh, we use for uh, building this website, we use Ruby on Rails to build the website. And I know it's one of the difficult uh, way to uh, create it. Some people might use uh, WordPress or other things, but we want to use the best practice to create uh, the customized website for home. We want to uh, do our best to fulfill their uh, uh, request. So that's why we use Ruby on Rails and we uh, thanks for our coach for uh, do his best to support us because we are all beginners here and he tried a lot to uh, dedicate his time on teaching us. And we use Heroku for deployment 
and we use Slack for communication. Basically, it's used for uh, maybe talk about when we are going to meet and about the details and about Git. Uh, if you are a developer, it, uh, it's a very good thing to cooperate with your team members because we will, uh, every time when we have commit, we will uh, push on the branch. And if you know a little bit about Git, and if the branch is uh, well prepared, it will be merged into the master branch. So all the commit will be uh, reflect on Slack communication. So it's quite uh, useful for this. And finally, we use Circle CI for uh, testing the whole system to make sure the system is OK for all the platforms and every uh, different uh, functions. So that's the tools we, are go uh, we use. And I, I'm going to pass to Kate for talking about better case management. So, okay, for this case management, our, the case management system that we built, there are like uh, two roles you can have. First, if you're a volunteer with home, uh, so you'd be considered a user, or you're an admin, like um, say um, admin would be like the uh, Jolivan who hits the home team. So I, I think it's better to just walk through the app itself. Okay, so let me just sign in as a volunteer. Okay, so f when you log in, you can see that these are the cases that you have. But of course, this is a new user, so your details are up there, and the cases that are under you are, will be here. Okay, today is your first day volunteering at home. This, uh, this uh, lady comes in and she has bruises on her hands. Like, you know, obviously, she was mistreated at, at, uh, at maybe at home, because like, she's a domestic worker. So you, you go in to log in a case by clicking on cases and then new. Domestic worker. When's the case reported at? So these are all the fields that home um, does currently on paper. It's like a four-page report. You sit down with someone and you talk to the person and find out um, what are the issues that they have. So then you fill up um, details like nationality, their bio, bio data, when did they arrive to home. So, so let me just fill this in because this is a necessary field. So you fill up all the details here. Let's just pretend we have done some things. Then, okay. Then you ask them as, as well, like, you know, how's your sleeping area and all that. All this data that you collect, eventually we hope to, uh, to gener generate more specific reports so you can uh, see how, like, you know, like, draw a trend of how generally, uh, for, for instance, one, that, one that's important would be days off per month. Yeah, there's, a, there's an ongoing campaign. They want to monitor, like, say, how many days off a month domestic workers get. So th this is something that we eventually translate into statistics for, for the home to monitor as well. Okay, at the same time, because, um, say, for this worker, obviously, she came in like, with um, bruises and stuff, right? So let me see whether we can feel find abuse. OK, no. OK, let's just let's put that under others as a category. Say, OK, uh, physical. And then she tells you later, oh, in fact, I, I haven't been paid for like the last three months. And this she has salary issues, you know, with her yeah, employer. Then you go on to create the record. So this is what a volunteer does. And then you go on to add the client. Maybe has this, uh, has this um, client been here before? Oh, actually, in fact, you can actually find her name here. Say, this is her name, you can click. If it's not available, you can actually click on new person and then add in the details here. And you go back to the page, and you can find her name here later. So let's say you, she's in the system already. So you, 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 in the back of your mind, you're thinking, like, OK, this person likely has um, you know, recurring issues with multiple employers, maybe. So you add an employer as well. Let's just assume the employer is already in the system. And then the related agency as well. If the agency is not in the system, you can actually add the organization as well. Then you save it. And you can see like, you know, a big picture of what this case is. You know, it's a domestic case. It's still pending, reported when. And then um, who is the person, who is the volunteer who is this case is assigned to? The client who is uh, being abused, the employer uh, who may be the culprit, and then the agency who handles this issue. And then at the same time, you can see all the data that you just en entered here. And then the issues, they are like physical abuse and salary issues. And then say, for instance, um, 
after a bit of investigation with like Ministry of Manpower, the volunteer can enter, say, okay, updated with Ministry of Manpower today. And then it comes out like this. Yeah, with my name, the person who um, follow up, and the date as well. So sometimes uh, the problem that home has is that sometimes they have um, like volunteers coming and going all the time. Sometimes some of them stay for three, six months. So you know, the, like what do you call it? Continuity is an issue as well. And so with all these like you know user um, based inputs, you can see who follow up when and how. Yeah, and then at the same time, like under organizations like you know that are, that's related, you can say for instance, okay, Ministry of Manpower um, has been involved. Or in fact, maybe like you know, say mm, this is the police officer that <coughs> handled the case because it's a like obviously a police case if you know abuse is related. Uh, sorry, abuse is um, involved. And at the same time, th another problem they have is currently this is that for example, if you have a police report sent in PDF, and yeah, so they have they, they don't have a system to actually like keep everything together. Yeah, sometimes they print it out and leave it somewhere, and then sometimes they just like um, put the document somewhere in some folder, and then it's, you know you have these like so many, so many folders and all that. So this is the online system that actually allows you to. Um, what can I upload? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Do you have a file? Never mind. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but the idea is that if you can upload the um, documents here, and it comes out in tabs, and you can see a thumbnail as well. So that's quite cool. Um, Gerald took time to build that. Um, okay, and at the same time, okay, so maybe like three months down the road, okay, I can close the case. Okay. Oh, you know, it's been resolved. Uh, the lady um, managed to find a nice employer. The case is closed. Uh, the bad guy gets go to jail. So there you go. It'll be. It'll come out under like archives. Do you see? The case is resolved. So, um, at the same time, no, um, there's a pattern you can observe from this. Like for example, just now the agency was this one, right? So under organizations, if you click on like the main agency, you can see, oh, okay, this person, um, yeah, this this agency has been involved with many many cases. Is, is there something wrong with what they're doing? Like you know, is is like salary issues or like related to the agency itself, or maybe like sometimes agencies overcharge mates, like um, they take a cut from them and then and then but um, they take a cut from them and they don't en entitle them like say for instance um, some okay I know like agencies sometimes they promise referral fees and then um, because it's like kind of like uh, not guarded by the law and stuff right but um, in the end the mates don't get a referral fee and, and, and all that so things like that you know it can range from very big to small issues then okay but that's on the user volunteer side of things let me just quickly go through what admin can do so you just saw that you can manage issues, sorry, you can tag issues to every case. So what about admin? Like for example, I mean, I mean like because issues const constantly change, right? Sometimes, um, you know, you might, 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 might have some new person coming up with some new ideas to mistreat people. So you need like new, new <laughs> tags. So like for example, okay, there's a new issue. And maybe it's, you can categorize it under like say medical and then <laughs> hmm, okay, but anyway, the idea is you can edit the text, and then when you add a new category, that category category can be used under cases as well. Yeah, and at the same time, um, you can manage users. So if the this user goes away, you can deactivate it, de de deactivate her, so that she cannot continue logging in and all that. And of course, you can see like audit logs as well, like who did what. So this is what I did just now. Yeah, okay, and then finally, I think this is what um, Sandy was saying just now. For instance, you want to see in a certain period of time, say like for this, uh, how many Chinese workers now have issues with us. You can see, uh, you know, there's a list of uh, um, cases where it's related to Chinese users in this period of time. So we hope to as well over time to improve this such that you can generate reports and statistics like this. So for, for this is actually one of the things that we hope to do, but I think it was, uh, the project was really getting very big. So these reports will be like, say, days off report. Uh, 
for domestic workers, how many days off do they get? You know, some of them actually do not get days off even in three months, and that's very bad. Yeah, and I mean, because yeah, you know, you need to socialize and all that. So, um, this. That, that, that's the idea that the, what home wants to do in the future. Like over time, for what nationality, how many days off do they get? And how do you fight for them? Like, you know, how do you get them more days off? And I mean, it can even be issues like uh, abuse related to more of Myanmar workers, maybe because their, their, their communication skills are not very strong and they don't have the, the voice to say something when they want it or to voice it out when they are being abused. So with all these trends, um, what home can do is to like, represent them um, say for instance when press is trying to get more information yeah and then real information that is like monitored and you can actually see like you know which organizations are the ones or which people are the ones constantly you know repeating the same mistakes and you know and they should be you know charged for it so that's the idea and we, we uh, uh, yeah, so through this project we hope that um, and I think it will likely be a phase where home will ad uh, adopt all these practices and hopefully all go offline yeah, it's a better volunteering experience for them as well. So we are all very proud of this. Yeah, and um, yeah, I think instead of us like giving to this, uh, this good cause, uh, I think it gave us more as well because uh, we learned a lot through this process with the help of our mentor, Gerald. Yeah, and then um, you can actually one of us is uh, contributing to another, um, yeah, another project in Africa. And then um, Connect is pursuing a career in, in, as a developer. And I'm hoping to start a new tech startup. So yeah, we're very thankful. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, home team.